Hey everyone and welcome back to The Breakdown. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to add plugins to your Minecraft 1.16.5 server. This is going to cover everything from downloading those plugins to installing those plugins to even editing some of the plugin files and giving you a text editor recommendation for that. It's all going to be covered in this video. Now, first and foremost though, you do need a paper server set up. Right here is our paper 1.16.5 server. It's already set up locally. We do have a dedicated video in the description down below showing you how to set up a paper server where it goes through everything on how to get a server like this. This one. However, the easiest way to start a Minecraft server is with someone like Apex Minecraft Hosting. You can check out Apex, the first link down below the breakdown.xyz slash Apex, to where you can get your paper server up in five minutes and get plugins on it very, very quickly. It's super simple, super easy, and Apex has 24 hour a day, seven day a week support that you can reach out to. If you do have any issues, they're more than willing to help you out. Get some plugins on your server, go through the tutorials with you, things like that, to make sure that happens and you get your server set up with plugins quickly and easily. We actually love and trust Apex so much that we host our own server played our breakdowncraft.com on them and it has been online for over two years now we have been with apex the entire time they're truly incredible so go to check apex the first link down below the breakdown to xyz slash apex get your server up and running now let's go ahead and get started so again we're assuming you have your paper server already set up if you don't you need to go do that it's not going to work this tutorial if you don't do that However, once you do, we can go to the description down below. I believe it's the second link down below. It's going to take you here where you can find our list of top five plugins. It's actually top 15 plugins, but this is our video. I know a lot of people prefer video, so we have this here. Now, it does say 1.16.4, and you might be thinking, this is for 1.16.5. What's the catch? Well, most 95% of 1.16.4 plugins will work in Minecraft 1.16.5 without any issue whatsoever. That's just because only things that were fixed in 1.16.5 was two server bugs that didn't affect plugins at all. So that is already going to go ahead and be fixed in most cases. So in 95% of cases, 1.16.4 plugins will work in 1.16.5 without any issues. Thus, that's why this list is here. So now, though, we're going to go ahead and scroll down and actually use this big 15 list, and we're going to start off with Essentials. So we can go ahead and right-click on this little link to go to Essentials Download Page by opening it in a new tab, if we do that correctly, not a new window. And then we also want to scroll down, and we're going to download World Edit here because that one's so popular. Everybody loves World Edit. And then finally, let's scroll down quite a ways and work with citizens, right? So citizens is all the way, where is it? I've lost it. Where's citizens? There it is. Here is citizens. We do have an in-depth guide on that, but nevertheless, let's go ahead and right click on citizens and open citizens in a new tab. Finally, we can go ahead and download these. So we're going to start off with World Edit here. We go ahead and click on File. We want to make sure that we're downloading the 1.16 version, which we are. So let's go ahead and click on the Download File button. And we'll go ahead and download World Edit in the bottom left, where we will need to keep it. And you may need to save it in the server screen on Mozilla Firefox. Next, we're going to go ahead and move on here and download Citizens. So once we're here, we just want to click on this Download Now button. It's going to be for this version, which as you can see is 1.16.5. So we're going to go ahead and click on Download Now. We will again need to keep or save the file depending on our browser. And then last but not least, we will need to download Essentials X. Let's go ahead and click on this Download Now button here. Now, Essentials was actually going to download without any problems. However, it just depends on your browser. Firefox may make you save the file. However, Google Chrome does not. At this point, if we minimize our browser, we have World Edit, we have Citizens, and then we have this weird looking file. This is zip file for Essentials. Now you might be wondering, why is that? because Essentials is actually a bunch of different plugins and we need to choose which ones we want to install. So if we go ahead and double click on the Essentials X zip file, it opens this where we'll find a bunch of different jar files. Every plugin should be a jar file. If it's not a jar file, it is not a Minecraft plugin. Nevertheless, let's go ahead and get Essentials X, Chat, and Spawn. Those are my personal favorites. Any of these are great, and you can install them if you need to. However, those are the three we're going to be installing. So I've clicked on all those with Control, and we're going to drag all three of them to our desktop just for ease of use. Now we can delete the Essentials file we downloaded, and we have Essentials X Chat, Essentials X Spawn, and Essentials X all on our desktop here. Now let's go ahead and get these installed. This is actually super simple. Once you got the files downloaded, all you need to do is go ahead and open up your server folder here. And then we want to find the plugins folder. So in our main server directory, we should have a plugins folder. If you don't, you don't have a paper server, go start one. Nevertheless, once you're in your plugins folder, just take any plugins you want to install and drag and drop them into your plugins folder, right like so. It's that simple, that easy. Again, these should all be jar files. If you don't specifically see .jar on the end, that's okay. You just need to click on view and then make sure file name extensions is checked. For example, if I turn that off, it's just going to show them like this. However, they should be executable jar files. However, if you want to see the .jar, go ahead and click on view at the top of you know, your file browser here, and then go ahead and click on file name extensions. And that's going to go ahead and turn that on right like so. 
However, these are installed. Let's go ahead and start our server. To do that, we want to go ahead and go back to the main server folder, click on the run.bat or start your server on Apex, whichever one you are using. And then it's going to start our server on up with our plugins. However, I do want to go ahead and open up Minecraft. So let me go ahead and just do a quick jump cut until we're in Minecraft 1.16.5 with our server up and running. And then I'll show you how to make sure everything's working in game and all that stuff. So let's go ahead and do that. So here we are. We have our server up and running and we have Minecraft up and running. We do have these Java issues. Basically, my Java is outdated and I need to update that. I will do that after this video, but it's still going to work even with that. If we want to make sure our plugins are, are installed, even if they're not in game, like we're not in game, we want to make sure they're working though. You can actually come over here to your CMD, your server console and go ahead and type in plugins right like so and hit enter then you'll have all your plugins come up and if they're green they are working so it's that simple they have installed correctly so we have citizens essentials essential chat essential spawn and world data all installed correctly we can also go ahead and join our server in game right like so just click direct connect and join server we're going to join in over here you're going to see boom next game says joined however we're also going to see here if we go ahead and in game do slash plugins we're gonna see right there we are. Now I am already opt on this server. You may need to come over here and type opt and then your username to be able to see that, right? And that might be the case. However, I am good to go. I can already see all of that stuff. We also wanna test these in game real quick just to make sure they're working. So Essentials allows you to do things like P time. So we can do P time day, make it daytime outside. And we'll also just do time set day as well. It's, but anyway, nevertheless, you can go ahead and do that. You can also with Essentials, you can do slash fly, for example. It also gives you some cool like little shortcuts like GMC instead of creating mode creative that sort of a thing that is all essentials working it's magic it also allows you to do things like create kits and do slash set spawn right so set spawn and then if we run over here and do slash spawn it takes us back to there all of that stuff can be set up pretty easily with essentials so I think essentials is working now let's go ahead and test world edit so we do slash slash wand and then I always like to just do something kind of crazy and ridiculous so we can go over here click there then we'll come over here and click here and we'll replace all of this with um glass so let's go ahead and do slash slash replace grass block with blue stained glass i have to find it though there it is bam that's blue terracotta yeah okay let's go ahead and replace the blue glazed terracotta because i don't know i'm not a big fan of the terracotta block it's it's very overwhelming to be honest with you like very overwhelming there we go much better so there you have it that is a world edit working it's magic just quickly and simply and then last but not least let's go ahead and create a citizen npc time set day p time reset okay but nonetheless as you can see we can create a citizen npc by doing such npc create and then hello or we'll just name this npc gym there we go. And we have the NPC Jim now. It's also given the uh, player skin of the person who has the Minecraft username Jim. Okay. Let's go ahead and make this my alt. So you skin. So we can do slash NPC select to select that NPC. And then we can do NPC skin and then my alt to give it the alt skin. And then we can also do slash NPC rename to we'll give it some cool color codes because why not? Why not? Nix alt. Bam. There we go. Except the color codes didn't set for some reason. That's sad, but that's okay. There we go. That is the look of my alt. I love it. No, I see why they didn't set. I didn't do the color first. I did it after. There we go. Boom. So that is an NPC from Citizens. These can do all sorts of things. We have a dedicated tutorial on that, which you can find in the description down below, or specifically on the link in the description down below on the plugins page there. But nevertheless, that is a Citizens NPC. So they're all working. However, I also promised I was going to show you how to find and do some little edits on the config files of these plugins. So if we go ahead and just minimize Minecraft, and open, uh, open up our server plugin folder here, right here, this is our server folder, and then plugins, we have citizens, essentials, and world edit folders for these plugins. So if we go ahead and, for example, go into, I don't know, we can go into essentials, and then if we go into the config.yml here, I double clicked that and it's going to open up in Atom. This is the text editor I told you I was going to recommend. It's not sponsored or anything like that. Everybody assumes everything's sponsored. It's not. Uh, there's much better text editors out there. Some people love, you know, Microsoft Visual Studio. Check out other ones, but this is the one that I use and people always ask me, what text editor is that? It's Atom. It's what it is. It's in the description down below with a link. But uh, yeah, that's what it is and that's that. But nevertheless, as you can see, you can see all the essentials stuff here. For example, if I go ahead and come back to Minecraft and we type in chat test right like so my username is red the reason for that is because I have the not ops name color set to four if we change that to B save right and then we come back over here and 
to Minecraft and do slash essentials reload. It's going to reload the plugin files. As you can see, it is reloaded there. We can actually now type in chat and my name will be blue, right? Because we set the color code to B, which is the blue color code. So yeah, that's kind of a simple change. You can edit all of this, but that's how you can edit them. Most of it is well documented, especially for essentials. For example, if you wanted to go ahead and set up a kit, we could do that via in-game uh, real quick. So we go ahead and do slash create kit test. Oh, and then we need to delay and we'll just do one second, right? Like so, and then doo -doo -doo, there we go. So create kit, te created test kit with two entries. Now we do slash kit test. It's going to give us more of that. Um, However, if we go over here to our kits.yml file and open that in our text editor, we can see that kit. Kit test is here with the wooden axe and wheat seeds. If we wanted to change this to a diamond axe, we could do that. Just change this to a diamond axe. Save the kits file, right? So file, save. And then we can go ahead and come back in game. We want to reload essentials command, or again with our slash essentials reload command. And then this time if we do slash kit test, it will give us the diamond axe and a wheat seed. Awesome stuff like that is simple and easy to do once you kind of know how to do it and have the correct tools, being like a text editor, to do it. Nevertheless, though, that's kind of the basics of adding plugins to your Minecraft server. If you did enjoy this video, give it a thumbs up. Check out our more in-depth tutorials for plugins. We do have those linked in the description down below. There's like a playlist with all of our plugin tutorials in addition to the fact that they are all like linked on the website for the plugins that we have there in our top 15 list. But nevertheless, my name is Nick. This has been The Breakdown. Come join us on our server. Play at our breakdowncraft.com. Custom survival. Amazing. Truly custom skyblock. The best out there. I will, I will spare you the details, but you need to come check them out. I promise they will be the best server you have ever played on. My name is Nick. This has been The Breakdown, and I am out. Peace.